Are you talking with your son or your husband? My my son. Good oh, evening. Nice. Good evening. How are you? Hmm. Hey, hello. Hello. Uh, fine. Thank you. Here we are preparing for the class. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. I hear. I heard Javier asking you about your son. Yes, because uh, he said he thought that my son bring me the water, and he asked me uh, uh, if uh, it was my husband or my son, and I said oh, my son. <laughs> uh, Patty, how many children do you have? I have two adopted children. How old are they? <clears throat> One of them, there uh, is there is <clears throat> eighteen years old, and the other one, uh, seventeen year years old. Okay. So not not so babies, huh? No, but I <clears throat> I have them <laughs> um, since. Uh, two months the first one i i received him at two months oh wow and uh, they mm. are brothers they are brothers uh they are the same mom uh -huh. from mom. okay okay so do you know the mom no uh, but they are my sons. Uh -huh. No, no, Be, uh, no, no, no. Uh, do you know the mom? Ah, no, no, no. I don't. Know. I don't because know. They yeah. are. They are very separated, right? They are. One is at two months. Oh, so at the same time, you you had the oldest and the two months. You received at the same time both children. Uh, you adopted the two together. Uh, yes, but not the same time because when the first the first baby has uh, had uh, one year and four months, uh, the lawyer <laughs> uh, told me uh, about the the other the other baby. Mm. He she said me uh, the new baby is brother of your of your son. Um, and then and, you say it's necessary. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they are brother, and they know that they are adopted. They know that. Good. And Patricia, is it was not difficult for you to adopt children in El Salvador? <clears throat> I understand it's, it's complicated the process. The process uh, during about five years because uh, one of them uh, um, uh, he were he weren't uh, inscribed in the uh, I don't know how to say alcaldia city hall and remember all of the all of the questions are always in the chat for you Patty. Okay, city hall. Mm -hmm. okay. And the second one, he he was uh, registered in the in the city hall. City hall. So the city hall was was fast. Uh, no. No. <clears throat> Before I received the baby, he was registered in the city wall, city hall. Okay. But when the process of adoption starts, um, that that register was uh, uh, cancelled, and the lawyer, the lawyer, the lawyers in the family judge. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> She started a new process uh, for ins uh, for inscribe my my sons uh, like my my 
really soon. Uh -huh. and the name, his name changed. Uh, all changed for them. Okay. How long did the process last? The process uh, during five years. But for the both or one, two years and the other three years or? No. <clears throat> when I received the second baby, uh, the process uh, was um, once or so. Uh, the process was uh, very um, slowly because one of them, uh, he weren't registered in the city hall, right. but, the other, but the other one was registered. And that when the process continued, uh, in, a mo in, in one moment, uh, they said, how can possible to one baby have uh, fathers and the other baby uh, don't have fathers mm -hmm. and they are brothers. And then uh, the process uh, stopped because uh, it was uh, um, the first baby uh, how to, to be um, registered and then restarted the process to adoption. I don't know if you, if you it, have I just, Don't worry, but the great job explaining. <laughs> Sorry. Great job. I see you. <laughs> it's great job. Yes. Remember. That Good. is very Good. difficult because uh, I am not uh, practicing with my uh, daily, daily life. And we need... Uh, I need to, to practice every day, but I, I'm not I'm not doing because in my work, all the patients speak Spanish. No problem, no problem. Thank you, you did a great job. Remember, Patti, I put in the chat for you, not during five years, lasted, lasted. Lasted. The process lasted five years. The movie lasted two hours. The program lasted, okay? Remember, no during, lasted. Okay, the, the, the process lasted five years. Exactly, that is the correct way. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Patti. Thank you so much for sharing. Guys, it's great to see everybody here. Um, I like Selena's profile picture. Remind me of the call center. Hello, my name is Selena. How may I help you? I love it. All right, Selena. <laughs> exactly <laughs> like the one from the call center, right, Nicole? Okay, the, okay. <laughs> the same headphones, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I see. Selena, uh, uh, do you play video games? Because it's like the call center or the, the people that play video games. Do you play video games? No, it's for my work. I, I use a lot of, like, for, for the meeting with the mm -hmm. college and the other college and in, in, in other country. And we have uh, so many meeting. Um, uh, uh, I have to um, like, uh, uh, is um, seminarios. Um, Seminars? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we have to use so many that the hero here here from I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yesterday, teacher, I was in in San Miguel San Miguel City, <laughs> and and now I I come back. Uh, uh, recién is uh, I yeah <laughs> I come back. And and is I am so tired, but I try to <laughs> to don't sleep, <laughs> to be asleep, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. In the class. Don't worry, 
we're going to <laughs> wake you up, make sure that you are active. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, guys, the first thing that I like you to do is similar to me. I gave you two examples with Patricia and Selena. And the idea is to investigate about the personal life, the job, the work, the activity. Think of questions to ask them. Create a natural conversation. Use your English naturally. No grammar, no academic, no topic. Create a nice conversation. Like if you are having coffee with your friend and you begin to talk, right? This is the topic right now. First, we're going to have a few minutes and I want you to start practicing English. Not worry about the grammar but worry about making it natural, okay? Okay, teacher. Excellent. So we're just going to have a few moments and then we come back. And let's start. Hey, Rafa, how are hey, you? Hey, fine, thank you. I had problem with my internet. 
no problem. I'm going to connect you in this moment to a group. That way you okay. can participate. Okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Hi. All right, guys. So I hope you had a nice time chatting. That is what English is all about, not about academics, about school, about grammar, but also to be able to use it. Of course, we are in class and we're going to practice and we're going to learn something today. But the important is for us to try to use it. And the same, remember, the WhatsApp exists for you to communicate with each other. The same goal Anna has, the same goal Nicole has. You can put in the chat. You don't have to wait for the class. If someone is available, they can answer and you can practice little by little. OK, it's just a little motivation awesome. for you to continue using it and try to get confidence with each other. Right. Yep. Excellent. All right, guys, let's take a look at today's class. Our class. Uh, we have a, an, ob an objective here. Uh, Nelson, can you please read what are we going to learn today? By the end of the, this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use reduced time clauses. Excellent. This is the grammar that we're going to use time clauses. Don't worry. It sounds technical, super easy. Here, we're going to watch a small video and you're going to say, oh, I know how to do this. So <laughs> let's watch this video. Mm -hmm. Hi, are you ready to learn about reduced time clauses? Stay and learn what they are about. We will learn today about how some other clauses of time can be changed to modify phrases but only when the subject of the adverb clause and the main clause are the same. 
If you use time expressions like right before, before, right after, after, and while, the time clauses can be reduced. Let's study the following sentences. After I finish. All right, let's pause right there. They were super fast. So time clauses can be. Those are the ones. If we use these words, right before, after, while, that's the main idea. These are the three really, and you can use the other forms. But if you use the word after, before, or while, we can reduce the sentence. In one moment, you're going to see what it means. It's super easy. It's just eliminating a small thing. Be reduced. Let's study the following sentences. After I finish my work, I head to the office. After finishing my work, I head to the office. Notice how on the second sentence, we omit the subject and change the verb finish to present participle, finishing. Remember the present participle always ends in ing. This is another example using while. While I take my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five minute nap. It can be changed to, while taking my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five minute nap. Notice we omitted the subject again and the verb take became taking. However, other time clauses cannot usually be reduced. For example, ever since I was a kid, I've had trouble getting up early. As soon as I get up in the morning, I race off to the gym. Until I've had my coffee break, I'm such a grouch. Whenever you have to work with numbers, plan to do it around noon. I've been at night person from the moment I started college. Okay, first, are there any words in these examples that you don't know? And what is the meaning of grunge? Grunge, a grouch. A grouch is somebody that is not happy, somebody that is angry. Mm, okay, thank you. Any other words? No teaching. Ground, grouch is not something similar as a grinch. Mm, similar, but grinch, the grinch is for Christmas and grouch is anytime. Mm, mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. So, for example, maybe when you don't eat, when you don't have coffee, you are a grouch. But a grinch is for Christmas. Finish up these following sentences. I can't concentrate after. I take a nap whenever. Okay. We are not going to do those sentences, but yes, we are going to do some sentences. The first thing is, as you saw, today we began talking about your daily life. And what do you do? So today the focus is, are going to be using the three words. What were the three words that we learned in the video? Whenever. Okay. Mm -hmm. While. While. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I see. All right. So, okay. Let's take a look. So, the three words from the video that we are going to be using are before, after, and while. Why those three words? because those three words allow us to have reduced time clauses. What does it mean? It only means we make two changes. One, we eliminate, we throw away the person. That is the first one, no more person. And the second one is the verb is with ing, okay? As an example, before I wake up, not necessary, before, Boom, eliminate the person and the verb ing. Before waking up, ah, I set an alarm. It's okay how to use reduced clauses? Yep. Well, it's okay. It's super easy. All you have to remember is the three words. What were the three words? Before. Before. Before, mm -hmm. after, and after while. 
and that's it. And those three you use with ING. So today we're going to talk about your daily routines and the activities that you do at your job, in your house, on the weekends, your routines. And we're going to try to use sequence, like first, then, after, before, and while. So imagine you say, hey, Edwin, what is your daily routine? Well, I wake up every day at 5.30 and I have breakfast and take a shower. After taking a shower, I get dressed and I go to work. You see, I integrate. I only have to put the things on. While, while driving to work, I listen to music. That's it. The idea is try to use the three words talking about your daily routines. Okay. If you don't have daily routines, you can also use your weekend routines. The things that you do Saturday or Sunday as well is not a problem. Are there any words or activities that you do that you don't know how to say in English? Okay, let's go then.
Okay, so how was that? Pretty easy? Yeah. So let's take a look and see if it's true. Anna, what are you doing after class? I'm going to wash dishes and after class I'm gonna do my skincare, skincare routine and then brush my teeth, check some stuff for university and then go to sleep, I think. Excellent. Now I want you to use today's grammar and use the word after. The same information, but today's okay. grammar. So no okay. eyes. Remember, no I am going to check. I am going no eyes. Go. Okay. After classes. After classes, I'll be putting on skincare. No, uh, no I remember Anna. No I. What? Uh-huh. Oh. No, I'm sorry. I'm just so confused. Like, don't, I'm thinking... don't worry. Don't worry. That's it's okay. Select another person. They're going to do it for you, Anna. Don't worry. Select Thank another you. person. Nicole. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't want me to pick her. No, 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 you already, her. no, no. I heard. I heard too late. I already I heard, heard you speaking. I didn't say anything. You said okay, Nicole. You. you said Nicole. Okay, Nicole. <laughs> well. After finishing classes, I will um, go my way home. When I get home, I will brush my teeth. After that, I will put on my pajamas. Um, and then I will go to sleep because I'm really tired. Okay, that's it. And Anna and Nicole, great job, the two together. Why? Because Anna demonstrated why we get confused because you have to change the rule you cannot use a noun you cannot say classes classes is a thing you cannot say a restaurant you cannot say book you have to have an activity after reading after studying after learning you need to have with this grammar the only difference is obligation is a verb not the noun that's the only difference but thank you too so much. I appreciate it. All right. Are we ready? Rafa, you look a little confused. It's okay? Mm, so, so. So, so. One Let's more see. example? Is, do you yes. Want yes. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Don't yes. worry. Carlos is going to help you. Carlos, go ahead. <laughs> okay. After finishing, uh, uh, the my, my the class okay. I Carlos let's try with before because Nicole already used after let's try the other word before before taking my class I take the I take my my dinner good idea very good only the word is I have dinner I have dinner okay correct very good so always with before after or while you have two options. You can say I, or you can say the verb with ing, before cooking, after studying, or before I cook, after I study. For example, like the examples from Carlos Nichols. Is that okay, Rafa? Yes. Okay, give me one example, Rafa. Okay, before I take in the class, I'm driving for home while I I walk, I am uh, talking with my wife. Good idea. Try again, but no I, no eyes. <laughs> okay, before, before taking the class, uh, I'm, I'm driving to home while I talking with my wife. No, I, while? While talking with my wife. 
Exactly. That is the correct grammar. So okay. Please, only is practice. Only is practice. All right. Okay. Excellent. All right, guys. Now it's time for our listening activity on 4.2. And we have a listening exercise. We're going to listen to Sean, Lisa, and Victor talk about stress. Whew. It's like they are Salvadorians, right? It's <laughs> they are Sean, <laughs> Victor, and Lisa talk about stress. Maybe they are from El Salvador <laughs> because we know everything about stress in El Salvador. And what is the main cause of stress for each person? That means what is the main reason? What is the main cause? Are you ready? Ready. Yes. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Yes. Okay. So we're going to have, let's see, we have three. <clears throat> so listen, we want to answer the first three. Chilling out. B. Listen to Sean, S, Lisa, L, and Victor, V, talk about stress. What is the main cause of stress for each person? Write the correct letter. 1. Sean. You know, I never appreciated all the things my mother did until I moved here to go to school. Since getting my own place, I've had to grocery shop, cook, clean, and do laundry. And I have to go to classes, research stuff at the library, write essays, and study. Having all this stuff to do really makes me feel pressured. And when I feel pressured, I get stressed out. And then I have no energy to do anything. So when I start feeling that way, I call home. I talk to my parents and have a few laughs with my kid brother. As soon as I start talking to my family, I feel better. It's like magic. 2. Lisa. I just don't think there are enough hours. So, number one, who? Lisa. What did he say? What was his? Number one, Lisa. 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 Two time. Okay, all right. Here we go, the next one. Where's gonna... in the day? My husband and I both work, and we have two small children. So we're on the go from the moment we get up until the time we go to bed. We love our jobs and we adore our kids, but sometimes enough is enough. Every so often, my husband and I just need a little downtime. If we don't get any, we start to feel the stress and fatigue building up. After the last time it happened, I found the perfect solution. Now, before things get out of hand, I arrange for my children to sleep over at my neighbor's place. It's fine because Betty, that's my neighbor's name, Betty and I are good friends, and her kids and our kids are friends too. Actually, the kids really like going over there. So anyway, after the kids leave, my husband and I have a quiet dinner and maybe watch a video or just listen to some music and talk. I can almost feel the stress melt away. Of course, the neighbor's kids sleep over here sometimes, too. Three, Victor. Okay. So what did Lee? We have Lisa that says too little time. Which one did Sean say? Too much traffic or too many responsibilities? Too many responsibilities. Okay. So then that means if we are correct, that Victor has to say too much traffic, right? Okay, let's listen and check. Traffic stresses me out. My family lives in a quiet little suburb north of the city. That means I have to drive in for school and my part-time job. I used to start getting tense even before I got on the highway. Some rush hour drivers can be very rude, and the traffic is usually bumper to bumper. You have to be alert because someone's always trying to cut in front of you. Anyway, now I leave home before the traffic gets too heavy. I know I'll be early, but as soon as I get there, I go to a little cafe I know and have a coffee and look at the paper or review for my classes. I've made friends with the other regulars, so now I'm always full of energy and ready to start the day. Okay, so we have all of those correct, right? No questions? No, teacher. Okay. 
Sure. Now that they have a lot of stress, what was Lisa's solution to find for having all of this stress? Let's listen. What is the solution? Chilling out. B. Listen to Sean, S, Lisa, L, and Victor, V, talk about stress. What is the main cause of stress for each person? Write the correct letter. 1. Sean You know, I never appreciated all the things my mother did until I moved here to go to school. Since getting my own place, I've had to grocery shop, cook, clean, and do laundry. And I have to go to classes, research stuff at the library, write essays, and study. Having all this stuff to do really makes me feel pressured. And when I feel pressured, I get stressed out. And then I have no energy to do anything. So when I start feeling that way, I call home. I talk to my parents and have a few laughs with my kid brother. As soon as I start talking to my family, I feel better. It's like magic. 2. Lisa So number one, we know that he gets stressed. With so now what does he do to fix that? Calls home oh, when oh, Phil stresses oh, out. Oh, Good. Only the pronunciation is with T, stressed. Stressed. Good. Very good. Let's listen to number two. I just don't think there are enough hours in the day. My husband and I both work, and we have two small children, so we're on the go from the moment we get up until the time we go to bed. We love our jobs, and we adore our kids, but sometimes enough is enough. Every so often, my husband and I. Mm -hmm. Leap home early before. Talking. Yeah, let me. Because yeah. too heavy. <laughs> my cousin and I. Okay, let me try closing it and opening it again. Chilling out. Talking to my family, I feel better. It's like magic. Okay. Two, Lisa. I just don't think there are enough hours in the day. My husband and I both work, and we have two small children, so we're on the go from the moment we get up until the time we go to bed. We love our jobs, and we adore our kids, but sometimes enough is enough. Every so often, my husband and I just need a little downtime. If we don't get any, we start to feel the stress and fatigue building up. After the last time it happened, I found the perfect solution. Now, before things get out of hand, I arrange for my children to sleep over at my neighbor's place. It's fine because Betty, that's my neighbor's name, Betty and I are good friends, and her kids and our kids are friends too. Actually, the kids really like going over there. So anyway, after the kids leave, my husband and I have a quiet dinner and maybe watch a video, or just listen to some music and talk. I can almost feel the stress melt away. Of course, the neighbor's kids sleep over here sometimes, too. Three, Victor. So what is the solution for Lisa? Has kids, has kids sleep, sleep, over, sleep a, over a friend's, a friend's house, house and, has, and a has a quiet dinner. Excellent. And now we have the last one. It leaves home early before traffic gets too heavy. Let's listen just to make sure and see if there are any questions for vocabulary. Traffic stresses me out. My family lives in a quiet little suburb north of the city. That means I have to drive in for school and my part-time job. I used to start getting tense even before I got on the highway. Some rush hour drivers can be very rude, and the traffic is usually bumper to bumper. You have to be alert because someone's always trying to cut in front of you. Anyway, now I leave home before the traffic gets too heavy. I know I'll be early, but as soon as I get there, I go to a little cafe I know and have a coffee and look at the paper or review for my classes. I've made friends with the other regulars, so now I'm always full of energy and ready to start the day. It's okay? Yeah. It's okay. Great. Yes, and just to show you, in case you wanted to double check, 
all of those answers are correct. You see, Sean, number three, too many responsibilities, too much traffic, Victor, and too little time. So now that we have many of those things, it's time for us for our speaking activity. And our speaking activity for now is super easy. It's going to be two. One, we're going to talk about what stresses you out. And then the partner, another partner, is going to give you tips or ideas on how to reduce stress. As an example, imagine that I tell you, oh, I am stressed um, by all of the things, all of my work, at, all of the things that I have to do at work. What could be a tip or a strategy that can help me reduce my stress? Quick of your job. <laughs> okay, quit my job. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe try to manage your time properly or uh, create a, a, a schedule so you can assign different activities at different uh, times of the day. <clears throat> there you go. Super easy. That's it. What stresses you out? It can be anything. These are also things that bother you, right? For example, for me, I don't know about you, but when I'm driving, I hate, I hate when the people put the blinker, blink, 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 and they continue straight. I, I hate it. I think they are going to turn and no, they continue. They continue with the light, ding, 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 ding. That's the idea. And then that's it. What stresses you or what bothers you? And we're going to give you tips on how to manage or reduce your stress. So, uh, Rafa, you were the last example. Select one person. <clears throat> um, Selena. Okay, excellent. Okay. I'm, I'm stressed. Uh... When I, okay, after uh, when when wake up late, and I have to take uh, the transportation for my work, and I don't know, uh, but I I know that I am wake up late, but but I want to 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 go to my work um, fast, but I can <laughs> because oh. it's so much traffic. And, and <laughs> sometimes I can't to get a, a bus because it's so full. <laughs> and I I am trying to, to get, but I don't care. I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't to, to get the bus. Oh. But but uh, sometimes I'm I'm going with my son, and always uh, my son is driving the car. But but is there are so many traffic and and uh, we didn't advance and and also always I am late in my in in my all my work okay. and and this is this is my my stress every day <laughs> okay selena thank you okay. very much select one person they're going to give you tips and okay. techniques and strategies how to reduce your stress Re select okay. one person okay Anybody. select the most beautiful person in the group <laughs> Okay, Patricia. Patricia Let me. Give me solution. Uh, I am stressed when my house is. No, 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 Patty. You have to give the solution to Selena's stress. Ah, Selena's stress. Ay. Sorry, <laughs> Selena. <laughs> I don't. Uh, sorry, Selena. I don't. I don't understand you. That you said. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Can you can you repeat me, please, as quickly? Oh, it's a big story. 
It's a big <laughs> picture. It's like a story for like five minutes, Patricia. Mm, I think you were imagining, dreaming, but super <laughs> easy, Patty. The stress is traffic and waking up late. Okay, I I suppose that uh, one of the uh, things you have to do is uh, uh, way, uh, waking up early and go to the work, to your work, um, before the traffic start. Okay, how can she, <laughs> okay. Patty, how can she wake up early? What is your technique? Oh, what is your strategy? You can use... Um, a timer clock, uh, your cell phone, an, an alarm with the clock or cell phone, and, uh, um, and that is the, the good way to, to wake up early. How do you wake up early, Patricia? My, my son uh, wake up at 3 a.m. and uh, he taking he take a bath, takes a bath, and um, uh, he he wake up, wake me, wake up me, wakes me up, wakes me up, and I I I prepare her his breakfast, mm, okay. and at four a.m. And he 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 goes to the college, and I I go I go to bed again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good, <laughs> Actually, Selena. Maybe that's a strategy: the alarms and have your son wake you up. No, you, your son, like Patty, your, the son wakes you up, Selena. Yeah, Please. it's a good solution, but maybe the problem is um, I am um, get late late for sleep mm. before. Okay, in you the go, in the night you go to sleep late. Late. Mm. I think that is the problem. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> All right, Patti, now you tell us your problem and then another person is going to tell us the solution. Ah, okay. Well, um, I'm stressed when my, my house is dirt because my house is, is huge and uh, I live in the in, in, in uh, town but uh, I, uh, my house is around for trees and there are deer. And uh, when the when the weather is is windy, the deer enter in my hole, and I'm stressed <laughs> because oh. I don't like to to saw my house dirty. And it is very, um, very hard to um, maintain the cleaning all the day. But my my employee, uh, how to say the 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 girl that uh, work in my house? I don't know how to say that. But the maid. The maid. Mm -hmm. the maid. Okay. <laughs> she. She clean my house, all my house, every day, three times a day. And that is the solution. Wow, three times a day. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Patty. The idea was what stresses you and the partner give the solution, but you already have the solution. So no problem. <laughs> Select the next person, Patty. Okay, uh, Anna. Anna, tell us what stresses you. Okay. Well, I guess same as Selena, but you know, I'm gonna use another one. Uh it stresses me out when, for example, 
I'm supposed to leave work at 6 p.m. But because I have classes, I leave at, I leave at 4.30. So sometimes uh, I get there and let's say I get there at 4.50, which is when the, car, the, the classes start. And the professor is like, she calls someone and they say, oh, we're not gonna have classes today. And I'm like, if I would have known we were not gonna have classes today, I would have stayed at work because I got off early and I did not get like paid for the whole shift because I came to classes and there's no classes. And I guess that stresses me out. Uh, it, it upsets me, you know, more than anything. It doesn't stress me, but it upsets me. <laughs> Anna, who is the person that's going to give you the solution? Um, Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn, what is the solution? Uh, well, I think it's uh, really difficult. <laughs> I think because it's not something that you can control and it's related to the teacher. Uh, maybe I think that you should create, I don't know, a WhatsApp group so you can uh, share information in advance if you have, uh, I don't know, the opportunity that someone can uh, tell you if you're going to have class, but I don't know, because it's a situation that is, it's not, uh, no, we can say an easy solution for that, because I have experienced something like that, and even though I try to find solution, I think there's no <laughs> one, um, and there is no easy one. Well, that's the only thing that Come, comes to my mind at this moment. Yeah. Thank you, Evelyn. It's a good, it's a valid point. Thank you. The best way is communicate with the others, right? The WhatsApp is, is really hard. It's really hard in those situations. Okay, Evelyn, tell us your problem and we find a solution. Okay. Um, I think that one thing that is stressing me out is when I when I have to wait for a long time. For example, when I'm sick and I have to go to the Seguro Social. <laughs> well, at that moment, I don't, I'm not feeling well. So if I have to, uh, to wait for a long time to get a doctor. I feel so frustrated first because I want to, I want to rest or maybe sleep, but I can't because I have to wait for the doctor to uh, give me uh, to check you know, what kind of illness I have and also I have to wait for the medicine that I need to get on. I think that's the thing that I hate the most, waiting. Okay. And select one person who's going to give you the solution. Uh, Nelson. <laughs> You're the one. Okay. Go ahead, Nelson. What's okay. the solution? Well, I will say that I have been in the same spot that she has before, basically, when you go through anxiety and stressful, uh, at a certain length of stress when you are have to wait. So with time, I have learned to prepare myself in a mental state that I will wait. For example, if I go to the Instituto Salvadoreño Seguro Social, I know that I will wait. So I prepare myself. And I bring something that I will focus me while I'm waiting. For example, I always carry my headphones, always. So when I get there, that, the first thing that I start is after I make the check-in <laughs> into the east, is I start listening to music. I know that it will have a long wait. Uh, so I start listening to music. I start practicing by singing when they're what they're saying uh, sometimes i bring a book also it helped me out to pass the time but the thing that helps the most is being prepared so i know that i will wait so why I, why i will have to be stressed for something that i already know that is going to happen so okay. i will say that the state of mind is basically the major focus Excellent. Excellent, guys. Well, thank you so much for sharing the things that stress you and for those finding some solutions. Tomorrow, you have time to think about it. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about dreams and you have to tell us a dream that you have had. It can be a dream that happened many times. It can be a dream that happened one time, a dream that you loved, a dream that scared you, whatever. But tomorrow, the topic is going to be what, Carlos? What is tomorrow's topic? 
A dream that we have had or have the moment. Correct. Exactly. So, Carlos, tomorrow you are the first. I want to listen to your dream. But the other, but then you have the power, Carlos. You select the next person. It's like Thanos. You are the powerful tomorrow. <laughs> But you are the first. Okay. <laughs> you have the glove. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. Have a good night. Good night, Thank night you. teacher. Good night, See you tomorrow, everybody. Guys. See good you. Night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye.